What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Welcome back, folks. It is Friday. It is December 23rd. I am off today. I am hoping you are off as well. I know people are going to be running around, scrambling around, trying to get the last Christmas gifts in. I got one more gift to get. Just a couple of bottles of wine I got to pick up for the girlfriend's parents when I head over there. <clears throat> Other than that, I think I'm good. I just got to do a little bit of wrapping. But let me tell you. I don't mind shopping for gifts. I have no problem going out there shopping, ordering online. It doesn't faze me. Crowds, whatever. I don't care. What I do care about is wrapping them. I hate wrapping gifts. It is a pet peeve of mine. I can't stand it. Probably because I'm not a good wrapper. I think I might just get bags, a little tissue paper, throw them in, whatever can fit. I think that is the easiest route to take here. Usually, if I do order something from Amazon, you know what I do? I check that little box that says, do you want Amazon to wrap this? I think it's like an extra two to five bucks. I pay it. It comes to me pre-wrapped, and I just got a freaking label and hand it off. It's a pet peeve of mine. But folks, check this out. On my day off, what am I going to be doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm heading over to my buddy's house. Going to go to Chris's house. Going to get a couple of drinks in us. We're going to play a little NBA jam on the arcade machine. Then we're going to go bet on some dog racing. A little simulcast action. We hang out at the bar. We bet on the doggies. We bet on some of the horses while we're there. It's, it makes for a great afternoon. Why not? Take my mind off of everything. Relax. Let it Let it re let it read i don't know let it breathe again you know it's always crypto 24 7 sometimes you just need to step away and you need to do some things that you enjoy and you just need to hang out with the friends and the family and forget about what's going on out there because to be honest with you if i'm staring at the screen if you're staring at the screen i don't care who's staring at the screen nothing's going to happen we're not going to affect the price so it's okay to step away because when you come back we're all still going to be here now in this video what are we going to talk about we got a major video coming up we're gonna, little, we're gonna do a little XRP TA. We're gonna show you some charts. We're gonna show you where we're at. <clears throat> we're gonna talk about the Hinman documents. Jeremy Hogan chimes in on them because, I, you know, as I had a little suspicion going on here, Hogan got a suspicion that the SEC is gonna try to cover up these documents. They're gonna try to do whatever they can, even though they're released, even though they handed them over to Ripple. I have a feeling. That once they push them over and they, they, they do come out, the SEC is going to still try to say that they are protected. As I grab a sip of my coffee, we're going to finish off this video with a little ripple and XRP to secret sauce. It is revealed to us. It all makes sense. We know the route they are going. We're going to go through it. So folks, without further ado, let's get over the live coin watch. What are we seeing on going on out there? We're seeing some green. I like it. Once again, XRP is leading the way, right? XRP is coming at 35 cents. It is up 1.48% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum is up 0.79%, coming at $1,225. That's Bitcoin filed behind it, up 0.28% in the past 24 hours, coming at $16,882. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $824 billion as the Bitcoin balance has come down just a tad bit. Nothing too crazy, but it's still within its range of 39 to 41%, coming in at 39. 38%. Now, where do we go from here? Well, there, I showed you JD's charts. I showed you Terry's charts. <clears throat> they all been telling you 33 cents is that massive, massive support zone. Dr. Fender puts it out as well. Your support is at 33 cents. That's where your support is. If we break it, you got your targets. 28 and 30 cents will be the targets. I told you anything for me in the 20s is a buy. Don't follow me, don't copy me, not financial advice, but that is what I'm doing. I do believe that is our last time here to load up in the 20s, unless we get another black swan or something very, very drastic happens. He states, the RSI is at the lowest ever, like 2017 with a price on the support right above the 33 cents, fingers crossed. Hopefully we finally get that powerful bounce off and we shoot to the upside. Time will obviously tell. And then, my favorite exchange to use, Binance.us. Love them, love them, love them. I've been a customer for years. Never had a single issue. I move money on, I move money off. Same day, they don't lock it up. Love to see it. Fees, relatively cheap as well. They said, what crypto would you like to see listed on Binance US this holiday season, folks? This is very simple. XRP. Bring it back and do the right thing, please. At Binance US. Reply. And everyone should be replying to this because it is very important that they know 
And you see this little option here, sending tweets, send now, undo. Tell you, have a little blue check mark. Give you some additional perks. I like them. I can decide if I want to undo a tweet, redo, edit. Not bad, but let's just fire that bad boy up now. Now, Justin Bones, just another <laughs> person looking for attention. Folks, I'm telling you, what they, this is what they do. When they're, when they're looking for attention, when they're looking to boost, boost engagement and interaction, you'll never hear from this guy again. They target Ripple next XRP. Because I do not support Ripple, far too centralized. Now, before I even read this to you, ask yourself. No one knows who this guy is. No one knows where this guy came from. No one asked him his opinion. But what? For some crazy reason, he has to go out there and talk about Ripple and XRP. Listen, I don't like a bunch of cryptos out there. Tron. Tron. I don't like Tron. Just the first one popped in my head. I don't like Tron. Do you see me just putting out random tweets about Tron? Tron? I mean, should I tweet right now, live on, live on show, and be like, I hate Tron? Uh, no, there's no need for it. So this guy puts this thread out. He's fishing for engagement. XRP is based on a permission, permission nodes explicitly selected by the XRP Foundation or individual users. That is a lie. Which the XRP community believes makes it decentralized. They are wrong. It's another lie. We don't believe that. Choosing who you trust is POA and not the same as trustlessness. You're a fool. You are a fool. Matt Hamilton chimes in. Love Matt. Again, come on, bro. Give it a rest. You've been proven wrong in this countless times. This is getting embarrassing for you now. Because I don't know. I do not consider myself to be proven wrong. We disagree. Just because you give a counter argument does not mean you prove me wrong. You had a different definition of decentralization. You act as if this is embarrassing for me, but XRP definitions are the minority opinion. Matt says, no, you are wrong. This isn't, this isn't an opinion. He's right. Matt Hamilton has gone at it before with this guy. He's given him facts. Facts. Listen, if someone throws facts in your face and it goes against what you were saying because you are giving your opinion and the facts tell you that you are wrong, you're wrong. It's that simple. Facts are facts. You can have your opinion, of course, but facts are facts. And this guy just doesn't get it. Or, as I said, what is he doing? He's fishing for engagement. And this panel, the president of Palau, spoke on working with Ripple on a national stablecoin. Of particular interest is the Digital Residency Act, which has attracted crypto luminaries like CZ and Vitalik. They are looking to become an offshore haven. Now, remember, Palau is one of the central banks that Ripple is working with. Here we go. Palau is also taking a step in collaborating with Ripple to explore the creation of a national stablecoin, which we hope to launch soon, which we will help to make payments easy and secure. That's huge. Huge, folks, because you know XRP is going to be used here. It's going to be the bridge. Palau has also been very fortunate to gain recognition from leaders in the blockchain industry, like CD Binance, who was able to visit us a few months ago. We talked about how we could collaborate on the digital resident pro program, as, as well as making use of Binance Pay to make digital payments for digital residents, but also even participate in, in the local commerce. A couple of weeks ago, I also had the opportunity to meet virtually Vitalik Buterin from Ethereum and to look at opening up the RNS ID ecosystem to develop a community and to see how Palau's digital residency can engage with the concept of so bound ID systems. This is a new world for Plow, but we are excited to be part of it. One of the advantages that we have is we're small and hopeful we can mobilize our government and be more adaptive to the changes that need to be made in this fast changing environment. This is absolutely massive news, especially to talk about Ripple and they're hoping to launch it soon, a national stable coin. Folks, why are national stable coins big? for places like Palau and Bhutan. Because when everyone else, all these other central banks moved to their stable coins, and that is how the new money is going to be moved around the new financial system. And everyone has their own CBDC created. The XRP ledger is going to be used, or the ILP, it's gonna be used to bridge these currencies. When it bridges these currencies, XRP will be sitting in the middle. So the US dollar would come out Hit XRP, bridge on the back end to whatever the national stable coin of Palau is going to be, which is going to be backed by their fiat. And well, actually, correct me if I'm wrong, Palau does use the USD. So let's use the Mexican peso. The, you know, Mexican peso wants to go to XRP, back out to the USD. Almost similar to what we've seen with MoneyGram. Seems like beautiful testing grounds. And how about testing grounds for the Fed? I talked about that before as well. 
This is big time news, folks. Now let's get into Ripple and XRP and the secret sauce. Whenever we didn't cover, we'll cover it in the next video. Because you know Ripple Van Winkle, he likes to get on little rants and the time just gets away from him. So Bob Way, and I told you this, I went over this before, and I'm going to go over it again because this is very, very important. There is a number one reason most bank integrations don't happen. New system developments is expensive and risky. M mistakes can generate bank losses of fines. Bankers get fired. The person you negotiate with, must, with must have a product budget, development budget, and risk appetite. But all that's going to go away because there is a mandatory change coming to the banking sector, and that is ISO 20022. The person you are negotiating with only needs to have a product budget. And now they can have product budget, and Ripple can also help them with a product budget to get their foot through the door. Money for development has already been allocated elsewhere. Nobody gets fired for following a mandate. He is 100% correct. They are following the mandate. You cannot get fired because you are following a mandate. What does this do? This makes an easier lift for Ripple. Why? Because the banks need to change the system. If you are making a change and there hasn't been a change, a major change in the banking system since SWIFT first came out decades ago. If you are going to make a change, and you can't get fired. Why would you not implement a change that would allow you to connect up to DLT, the ILP, the XRP ledger, so you can start saving up to 95% when you are moving money around the world? That is the secret sauce right there. The mandatory change. Now ISO 20022 makes 100% complete sense. The change has to be done. The banks are doing it. They don't have a choice. What's sitting there waiting for them and what's ready to go? Ripple net, folks. Let that sink in. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.